Hey guys, this is PK for AtomicZebra.com and today let's talk about pocket management. Alright, so uh, about pocket management. So it depends on what you're doing and where you're going and what kind of gig you have. Uh, if you have a, if you can use a suitcase, like, that's my suitcase, yeah, it's a little small, but um, it doesn't have to be big because I carry cards and cups and balls and that's, and, and I have a small mat that I use uh, when I do table hopping. That's a, it's actually a mouse pad, but yeah, it works well. And it, because the bottom is um, rubber, it's okay to use on tables uh, because if it's at a bar, they have, there's a lot of watermarks. What, well, condensation that becomes like round watermarks and becomes sticky because they spill beer and all that. So I use this and I just leave my cards here. I don't do spread. I can't do spreads on this that much, but I just have this. And it's better than having the cards all wet and sticky. Uh, if you're wearing a jacket, I highly recommend wearing a jacket because not only do jackets, am I? Yeah, it fits. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I not only recommend wearing jackets because it makes you look professional, but this is the best way to. Uh, have pockets, you know. Otherwise, you'll just be wearing, uh, having your pants pockets. That just gives you three, four, yeah. Uh, but you need to keep your phone and your wallet, and you know, put your put your wallet in the suitcase. But still, you know. So, and also, like if you're doing sponge balls from the pocket, it looks a little. It sounds and it looks a little strange because you're pulling out sponge balls from your pocket. So the three major types of performances that I have is uh, busking, uh, walk around, table hopping. Uh, at functions or restaurants or bars and last would be uh, for separate shows like gigs or birthday parties or stuff like that right so where you have a show and you have an audience it doesn't take that much time to figure this out but I'll just let you know uh, what I do uh, busking not too much time for setting up the deck so it's not a lot of setup uh, so I go with minimal setup tricks and for table hopping uh, walk around at bars, restaurants, or functions, uh, basically all just impromptu. Basically, like 90% impromptu. Maybe three cards set up at most. Three, four cards set up at most. So that, that, that would be about it. And for proper shows, of course, you can have as many decks as you want. Just like bring any kind of deck with any setup you want. That's fine because you can just switch them around. That's fine. But with the, the, the busking and the walk around, it's just basically all impromptu. For busking, the reason why I consider busking as different from walk around, even though I do do a lot of impromptu magic, uh, it's because you can have the, uh, the suitcase out and you can just pull things out sometimes. So you can carry more things and you can uh, switch between decks and you can have like a couple of different backup decks in the, in the suitcase and you'll be fine. But you don't have a lot of time between uh, people who, who, spectators, right? Because uh, if one person starts watching magic, then the crowd starts to grow really quickly. And then once there's a crowd, unless I tell them that this show is over, like, thank you, money in the hat, that kind of stuff. Unless I do that, then uh, it just keeps, the crowd just doesn't go away. It just keeps just replenishing itself. And uh, I do have pauses, but between then, maybe three, four cards set up. That's about it. Uh, so, yeah. The only pocket stuff that I prepare is sponge balls here and I'm done because I can pull the cards out of the suitcase and I can just switch decks or I can just pull out a new deck, open a new deck, doesn't matter. So you have the suitcase out when you're busking, basically. Uh, of course it depends on the table but mine is large enough to have the suitcase and the close-up mat, larger close-up mat, so that's fine, right? When you're table hopping, everything needs to be on you. That's why I suggest wearing a jacket and uh, that helps a lot. I would have these because my sponge balls Hey, sponge balls. I love sponge balls. And um, my Sharpie, I have a larger super Sharpie, which I just use because it's, I don't know, I just bought this. So I have that in this pocket because that's how the routine works for the sponge balls. Uh, I have two decks and one is in my pocket over here and this is over here. Now the thing is like they're both just identical decks and what I mean by that is not only are they just regular cards so I don't have like a special stack for any of them I just have them all shuffled up and what I normally do is I have a couple of duplicates ready in the deck some very um, uh, subtle duplicates that I would use and have a couple of um, odd back cards and some 
duplicates ready to go and they would also stay in here right they would stay in here so I need to when I need to add them to the deck I would easily and of course my business cards go in the inner pocket on the bottom over here I, I, don't, I don't know I have this I have this pocket you know like uh, there's this one pocket here where I think it's supposed to be for business cards I don't know so I just put that in there and I'm ready I'm ready uh, usually I would walk around with the, the deck and my mat and I'm ready I go up to the table just tell them blah 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 uh, like I'm the house magician here uh, would you like and you have a couple minutes we'd like to see some magic hi I'm BK and then I get everyone's names and try to remember at least one or two of them like one guy one girl or something whatever and yeah that's what I would do so I would start off like this and then go to the next table and now the reason why I have two decks is because I end up giving out cards because for some reason people after they sign a card they actually want to keep their card I it's, it's a little strange at first I didn't do that a lot in the a uh, long time ago but after a while it seems like people want to remember the magic because the reason why I didn't give it out that often was because I thought why would you want to keep a card with your name on it like you can write your name like it's you know but then uh, I realized that people actually keep that card as a reminder of what happened so like a souvenir of course right so uh, I just give out cards and over the course of a couple hours during the evening rush, that would be like 10, 20 cards just given out. So I need another deck sometimes. So depending on how long the gig goes, I either go through a deck a night or I might need another deck. And I ended up using uh, one. I, I ended up using the second deck uh, tonight. So also another thing. So you have another. You can have another deck here if you want. If you want to switch decks. Uh, sometimes I keep uh, like NFW or small packet tricks here, so that would be great. And that's about it. So you can have a deck, a deck, I, I would have a deck, packets, and uh, sponge balls, and a deck. But I usually carry that deck around and some extra cards here for uh, extra tricks. Either duplicates or odd back cards. And yeah, so that's how I would manage my pockets. Um, oh, for a show, of course, because I have the whole show planned out, it depends on uh, what the show needs. For example, if you're going to do a deck switch, then uh, you'd have that deck ready and that would be about it, right? So that's how the show would go. And of course, uh, at a show, you can have your suitcase so you can just pull things out easily and you can actually use a suitcase as cover for switches and stuff. So yeah, you can do that. So that's great, right? Um, so yeah, pretty much when you're doing walk around that's when you need the most pocket management so basically that's my suggestion uh, packet tricks one or two packet tricks uh, a couple of extra cards odd back cards and two full decks and sponge balls for me it depends on whatever else you're doing like if you do coins coins of course yeah you know right so yeah so um, um if you have any ideas questions or if you have any suggestions that you think will help of course just Comment below. That's what we're all here to do, right? Comment, press like, uh, press subscribe, all that stuff, right? All that stuff that you do on the internet. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in another video. All right? Take care.